Okay, today I'm going to be making instant clear slime in the vacuum chamber. So normally you need a couple of days in order to make clear slime for all the air bubbles to get out, but if you have a vacuum chamber, you can do it almost instantly. Okay, so this slime is extremely easy to make. All it is is clear Elmer's glue, baking soda, and contact multi-purpose solution. So this may seem like a weird combination, but here's what's happening. All you need to do is be able to link this long polymers of Elmer's glue together. And the way you do that is with this chemical called borax in the multi-purpose solution. And the borax is mostly contained in boric acid in here. And so what you need to do is add a base to it, like baking soda. You could also use uh, sodium hydroxide, but most people don't have that, so you can just add baking soda. The baking soda will essentially release the borate ion from there, and the borate ion will connect the polymers of glue together and turn it into slime. So to make this, I just mixed a half a teaspoon of baking soda with water, and then poured five ounces of this glue in a bowl, and then you just add the multi-purpose solution until it gets the consistency that you want. Okay, the slime has fully reacted now. It's getting really thick. You can see that it's not clear at all. That's because of all the little tiny air bubbles in it. So normally you'd have to let this sit for around two days, but I have a better solution to that. Putting it in the vacuum chamber and sucking out all the air bubbles. So now let's go ahead and put it in my vacuum chamber and try to remove all these air bubbles instead of letting it sit for a lot of days. Making instant clear slime in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Starting to bubble up. We're at 0.2 atmospheres. Bubbling up. We're at 0.1 atmospheres. So what we're doing here is called degassing. I'm trying to degas the slime, meaning get out all the gas bubbles that are inside of it. And the way we do that is reduce the pressure and so the gas expands and then hopefully the bubble pops and it lets go of that air that was inside of it. So one way you can pop the bubbles is let a little burst of air in. See, I let a little burst of air in. Now I'm gonna let it vacuum back down. And that pops some of the bubbles, and we'll see if it puffs back up to the same height before, as before. So this is actually what vacuum chambers are used for, is for degassing things. Usually you'll degas resins in these, where you don't want them to have air bubbles. Like when you make carbon composites, you mix uh, carbon fibers with uh, epoxy resins, and you don't want any air bubbles because it weakens it. So you use vacuum chambers to vacuum out all the air bubbles inside of it. So besides making cool YouTube videos, that's what you use vacuum chambers for. So while we're waiting th for this to expand, let's learn a little bit about what slime is. So slime has become really popular on YouTube these days. Slime is actually just really any non-Newtonian fluid you can call a slime. So anything that changes its viscosity based on how hard you press on it, that makes it a non-Newtonian fluid. Okay, you can see the bubbles starting to pop. That's what we want to do, to lose those bubbles.
So I'm gonna let this go for a while. 10 or 15 minutes, let's see how it looks. Okay, we've been going now for about a half hour. Let's check it out what it looks like when we let the air back in. Let's let the air back in, three, two, one. So it looks like it was still bubbly, but once we let this air back in, it's going to become very clear. See how clear it is now? like it was still bubbly, but once we let this air back in, it's going to become very clear. See how clear it is now? Okay, you can see it has now become crystal clear. Look at that. <laughs> Look how clear it is. So perfectly clear. It's awesome. So even though it looked like there were air bubbles left in it, they were actually very low air pressure. And so now, once, once we let the air back in, it's crystal clear. Okay, you can see how clear the slime is. Look at it on the side here. You can see my hand right through it. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. Remember to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit that bell to be notified when the newest video comes out and we'll see you next time.